Hello young scientist, how are you today? I am feeling fine too. What a great day to learn new things. Welcome to Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. And I'm teacher Ariel, who will be guiding you this whole discussion. But first, let us bow our head and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Good morning, class. Is there any absentees today? Good. Thank you, one one, for the attendance today. All right. Before we move on to our next topic, let's have a recap on what we've been discussed last meeting. Now. I will show you pictures of the three sources of water and you will have to tell me what source it is. Is that clear everyone? Okay, what can you say about the first picture? That is correct. It is seawater. And how about the next picture? Alright, it is fresh water. And how about this last picture? Nice job! It is a groundwater. Okay, very good. So again, what are the three main sources of water? Alright, these are the seawater, fresh water, and the groundwater. So, are those clear to everyone? Very good. And now, we will play a game. Are you familiar with the game, 4 picks 1 word? Today, we are going to play that game. I have here four pictures that serve as a clue to guess the scrambled words. So, here is the first picture. What do you think it is? Nice job! The scrambled word is sources. And how about the second picture? Very good! It is water. And what can you say about the last picture? Alright, the scrambled word is uses. What can you see in this picture? Very good, it's a globe. Globe represents as the model of the earth. Now my question is, why do you think the big portion of the earth is blue in color? What does it represent? Yes, that is right, it represents the water which part of the earth. That is why life is very abundant on earth. Thus, we can't live without water. Also, water comes from various sources. Now that we know something about the sources of water, today we're going to find out the uses of water and for you to know that, we're going to have our group activity. Now, before we proceed in our group activity, you have to follow these instructions. First, follow the procedures. Second, cooperate with the members of the group. And last and the most important thing is work silently. By the way, I will be grouping you by rows. Since we have four rows, the first row will be the group one, and the second row will be the second group. The row three is group three, and same with the row four. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, very good. And for group 1, here's the objective of your activity. Explain the uses of water through role-playing. Nakalagay na dito ang procedures and guide questions. And for group 2, your objective is to explain the uses of wa fresh water to a poem. Nakalagay na rin dito ang procedure and guide questions. And for group 3, explain the uses of groundwater through graphic organizer. Included na rin dito sa paper ang procedures and guide questions.
And for the last group, you will explain the uses of water by creating a song. And here's the procedure and guide questions. Now class, you will be given 15 to 20 minutes to prepare your presentations to answer the activities given to you. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, you may now go to your respected groups. Okay class, your time is up. Go back to your seats and let's start the presentation of group 1. Let's now proceed to our discussion. Again, group 1, what did you do? Okay, very good. Group 1 make a role play showing the uses of water in our daily life. Based on what the group did, what were the uses of seawater? Yes. Alright, we can swim there, we can catch fish, we can ride a boat, and many more. The second question is, what if we don't have seawaters? Where do you think the fishermen will go fishing? Okay, we can also enjoy fishing in rivers, lakes, ponds, and many more. Okay, how about group 2? What did you present here in front? Nice job! Group 2 created a poem about fresh water. Based on your work, what are the uses of water? Very good! Fresh water can be used in drinking, bathing, cooking, washing clothes, and cleaning dishes. Do you think our daily activities will be easy without fresh water? Why? Okay, no, because we use fresh water every day to survive. What about the work of group 3? What did you do? Okay, group 3 make an organizer about the uses of groundwater. So why do you think groundwater plays a big part in doing your daily activities routines, especially to farmers? Very good, it is because groundwater is a major contributor to flow and many streams has a strong influence on river, wetland habitats for plants and animals. The last group, group 4. Can you explain what did you do? Okay, group 4 creates a song about the uses of water. And now, I am going to show you a real life scenarios and you are going to give suggestions or comments in every situation. Okay, the first scenario is Jammer is brushing her teeth with water from the faucet runs off continuously. What can you suggest to Jammer to conserve water while brushing? Okay, very good. You can tell Jammer to use a glass and turn off the faucet to conserve water. How about the second scenario? You've seen your classmate throwing garbage in the Pasig River. You know it can destroy the bodies of water. What action can you do to inform your classmates about keeping the water free from pollution? If you were your classmate throwing garbage in the river, would you also do the same thing? Why and why not? Alright, no, because it can cause water pollution and can kill more water species. And for the last scenario, is Reina washes the dishes after dinner. What can she use to conserve water while washing? Okay, you can tell her to use a basin to conserve water. Therefore class, it is important to understand how water moves through the environment so that we can understand how to manage it successfully. Fresh water is finite and vulnerable. Supplying sufficient clean, Fresh water is one of the most vital natural resource issues facing humanity. Now, let's have an activity. Explain the use of water by reading each situation and choose the letter of the correct answer. The first item. Elaine is brushing her teeth after meal. She also washes her hands. What is the use of water in doing Elaine's routine? A. Household B. Personal use, C. Agricultural, or D. Recreational. If your answer is letter B, you are correct. 
The next question is, every summer, the Cruz family goes to beach for swimming and some relaxation. They also try different water activities. What is the use of water in Cruz family? A. Agricultural B. Personal C. Recreational or D. Household If your answer is letter C, nice job! Number 3. Every morning, Mang Boggs makes sure that his palayan is always getting enough water. What is the use of water in Mang Boggs farm? A. Agricultural B. Personal C. Recreational or D. Household If your answer is letter A, well done! How about this situation? May's mother washes their clothes every Saturday. May also help her mother by cleaning the rooms and bathrooms. What is the use of water in cleaning in their house? A. Agricultural B. Household C. Recreational or D. Personal If your answer is letter B, you're correct. And for the last question, products are transferred from one province to another by sea travel. What is the use of water in this situation? A. Agricultural B. Transportation C. Recreational or D. Household If your answer is B, you're correct. Alright, we finished the activity today. Mga bata, did you learn something for today's discussion? Alright then, very good. In order to expand your knowledge, what you have learned today, I will give you an assignment. Cut pictures showing the uses of water, write two to three sentences about the picture. And that's all for today. Young scientists, I hope you had fun in Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. Once again, this is your science teacher, Ariel. Thank you for joining me in our short yet exciting science adventure. Bye-bye!